On my way north to Cagayan, I heard about a native dish that packs a bit of a bite. I don't think I can leave Isabella province without tasting it. Long ago, when meat was rare in these Isabella jungles, the people got their protein fix from these tiny critters. Today, ants and ant eggs are a secondary crop for fruit farmers. Attracted by the sweet fruit, the ants build their nests, which the farmers wrap in plastic bags until harvest time. The ants of choice are weaver ants. This species of ants not only bites intruders, but sprays acid into the wound as well, causing a world of pain. Collecting eggs means sticking your hand into thousands of these territorial terrors. I've stopped here because this is where they harvest the abuos, or red ant eggs. I'm really interested to see this because red ants are pretty bitey, so it's got to be tricky work. I also want to see where they have their nests so I can steer clear. Oh, it looks like he's already in the middle of harvesting, so we came at a perfect moment. Oh, whoa! <laughs> like I said before, bitey. There are red ants all over there. Watch your feet. Ooh. Oh, trap. Red ants are just fleeing the scene. And they're all carrying something little and white in their mouths. I wonder if they're the eggs. It's the eggs that are the main attraction, so farmers must pick them out of thousands of angry ants. A queen can produce thousands of eggs every day. Ugh. I'm suddenly feeling very itchy. <laughs> Bite. Ah, I feel like they're all over me. Uh, it's time for me to flee the scene. Whew. So these are the ant eggs, the little white pieces in there. I have no idea how you would prepare these, but I'm about to find out sauteed with garlic, onions, and a curious sour fruit they call camias. It's starting to smell delicious, but I have to admit, the thought of eating them still gives me the creeps. So the abuos would take on any flavor the what you cook it with? Yeah. Okay. You can, you can cook this with the soup also. With soup? Yeah. Oh. So there's lots of different ways you can prepare yeah, this. Yeah. It's done, so are you ready to taste this? We'll I don't put this know. in a plate. <laughs> okay, I have to admit, I'm not sure why anybody would want to go to an ant's nest, harvest the eggs, cook them and eat them. Something completely foreign to me. I'm not very adventurous with food, but I have to try at least one bite, just one. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, well fortunately it's kind of mushed up so I can't really make out all the ants. I do see some legs sprouting out here and there. Uh, my stomach is already feeling a little queasy, but here goes nothing. I'm gonna close my eyes. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> okay, not as bad as I thought. <laughs> a little crunchy. Yeah, you do mostly taste the ginger, the onion, the fruit. Uh, it's sour. It's mostly the the texture that I have a hard thing getting over. 
like I have little ant legs stuck in my teeth. But all in all, I'm glad I tried it. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but I don't think I want any more. <laughs> Who wants leftovers? <laughs>